Hey, hey guys, how's it going? It's Baggins here, and today, of course, we're back with some more Crucible, but in today's video, I wanted to take a little bit of time to walk you guys through Heart of the Hives. This is, without a doubt, one of the more complicated game modes, if not the most complicated game mode in Crucible, but in my opinion, also one of the coolest and most fun if it's played well. From the first few days of launching Crucible, it was uh, obvious to me and a lot of players that a lot of people don't know what they're doing when it comes to Heart of the Hives. It was uh, repeated instances of players on my team and players of the enemy team just having no idea, running around, shooting in the air, and just dying a lot, and uh, probably not having tremendous amounts of fun. Now, whilst the matchmaking has improved quite a bit considerably since then, and uh, we're no longer playing against those new players, I'm sure they still exist out there, and heck, maybe even one of you guys watching would consider yourself a newer player to Crucible and not really sure what Heart of the Hives is. So I thought today I'd sit down, We'd queue up for some Heart of the Hives, and I'll just give you guys a running commentary of everything that I'm thinking in terms of, you know, where we're going to go farm, why we're going to do this, why we're going to do that, and hopefully it'll help you guys understand Heart of the Hives more and help you to enjoy Heart of the Hives more. So, uh, yeah, let's stop talking and let's start playing. So, although I have been playing a lot of Summer on the channel. I'm afraid today's video is going to be another Summer video just because she's the character that I'm most confident with. Quickly looking at the enemy team here and the events, I don't see any reason to change my build. Sometimes I go Magma Swarm if there is like a Drakal and stuff on the enemy team. Oh, there's a lot of Stomper gatherings, but no Stomper gatherings in this one, no Drakal. So we're just going to go for the good old Fireball for the poke damage. We do have uh, one of the best players in the game right now on the enemy team playing a Jonah. So that's going to be pretty rough to deal with, but I think uh, Summer does have a pretty good matchup against a Jonah if you can get up and pressure her before she shoots you too many times in the head. So immediately, just as we jump out of the pod, this is where the action begins. We're going to go straight into the farm. I know there's a big chunk of uh, spitters over here. I know there's a free med kit, which is important to take as well. Med kits are a way to heal in combat, so we're going to help uh, Drakal here take down these spitters nice and quickly. Ideally, we don't really want to get spit on, we don't want to take too much damage, but it's not super bad in Heart of the Hives, because in both Heart of the Hives and Harvester Command, you have these medical stations here, which don't exist in Alpha Hunters. Maybe a little bit of uh, secret information, but these, these here don't actually exist in Alpha Hunters, but they do in Heart of the Hives, so no biggie if you take a little bit of damage at the uh, start of the game. Just make sure you heal up to full on those medical stations. We're going to keep going for farm. I know that there is a good chunk of uh, enemies sort of around this north passage and up to spaceport right now. There is a decision that you could also make to go for some harvesters as well. I think if you're playing a highly mobile character like Bug or uh, Captain Mendoza, I mean, Summer is highly mobile as well, but she's also really, really good at farm, so... I'm just gonna go for the farm. Uh, the reason why we're doing this, because I think a lot of people uh, get a little bit confused, like, Baggins, why are you going to fight the aliens and not the other players right now? Well, Heart of the Hives plays a bit more like a MOBA. So when I when I say MOBAs, uh, examples that you can also think of, uh, League of Legends and Smite. So, although a lot of people would say this game's a bit like um, Overwatch or Apex Legends, like from a gameplay standpoint and a visual standpoint, uh, Heart of the Hives is one of the more unique game modes and that it plays a, a bit different from the from the other game modes because you have this sort of constant battle of trying to maintain a, a higher experience than the enemy team. So every time I kill an enemy creature like that, I get these little blue orbs that come out called Essence. Um, and Essence is experience for me and the whole team. Now do more damage in the top half of your heat game. So exactly the example there, we just hit level 2 because me and my team have been staying on top of the uh, experience gain. So now you can see when I go to uh, halfway on my heat gauge, my flames turn purple and do 40% more damage. Now that's, that's a pretty significant buff, so... Uh, we want to get that buff online for me as soon as possible and the only way we're going to do that is by going and getting lots of uh, essence and a lot of uh, farm. So you can see we're level 2 and the enemy I could see just through the map there, they're level 1. So we actually have a level advantage on the enemy right now. So we have those uh, added bonuses that I talked about. Uh, I get 40% extra damage, some other characters are going to get like more movement speed or more health or faster reload speed, something like that. Uh, on top of that, every level you get is 6% extra damage and 3% extra health as well. So. It just, it's a no-brainer, really, when there's nothing to do right now. Currently, we're waiting for the hive to come up. You can see it's about halfway done. This means there's like a minute 30 left for it to come up. You may as well if, just do something. If it's not killing the enemy players, if it's not capturing the harvesters, just kill some of the, uh, the aliens, some stompers, some spitters. Uh, I really can't stress how important it is. I see a lot of players in uh, my 
Heart of the Hives games uh, grouping up and running around like this as well. And whilst it, it is a valid strategy for going for the PvP, um, I think splitting up, honestly, is going to get you more experience faster. Uh, by splitting up and covering multiple areas of the map, you're going to be able to get much experience much, much faster than grouping up and just, like, zerging everything. So we'll have to see how the meta sort of uh, evolves over time. When I was playing in the alpha playtest, it was very much the case that players had split up, but it does seem to be... Now we're in the uh, release of the game, players do seem to group up a lot more. Whether it's going to continue to be this way or not, uh, time will tell. On the gas. But as I say, I, I would recommend splitting up personally. And uh, also I would recommend not uh, overheating as much as I am right now as well. A little bit of newbie summer gameplay right now. So I know my team died around here, so it's likely the enemy is going to be over towards wetlands. I'm going to wait for my team to respawn at this point and see where they come in from. Uh, I'm gonna have to go look to join them now. See if we can get to level 3 real quick. Uh, we may as well actually go to full health as well on this medical station before we go over. There we go. Every little counts. There should be one more spitter over here, provided the enemy didn't kill it. Here we go. This should give us the experience we need. And there we go. Right, level 3. We also have majority control of the harvesters as well. So we have 3, the enemy only have 2. That's a really good spot to be in at the start of a fight. Uh, if this fight for the Hive is long and drawn out, we're going to be earning more experience every 10 seconds than the enemy team. I think uh, every Harvester is 30 Essence, 30 experience. So we have 30, 60. Oh, no, the enemy just took Central. Okay, we're now we're at a disadvantage, but it's not it's not the end of the world, you know. They're only getting 30 more than us every, every 10 seconds, so not super, super bad. Got to stay with my team here. Um, it looks like they might just be going for damage amplifiers. Not a bad play, actually. In fact, uh, it might be wise to send somebody up top to go for the other one. I don't think we're going to make it there in time, but as long as we get one of these, it will be pretty good for us. Where is... Going in with Trakal here. Okay. I'm just gonna focus on Drakal's target. Looks like he might be going for the Ajona here. He missed the hook, but no worries. Where is she? Oh, she's behind me. Okay, that's fine. Hopefully we've managed to... No, we still haven't got the damage amplifier yet. That's kind of unfortunate. It is right here, though. Could just uh, stand behind it, and there's nothing a Jonah can do. Incoming. If I do this, Second she shouldn't be able to get it. Cause she can't shoot through it. She can try and get an angle on the left, but my team should be covering for me. Okay, a Jonah is down. We got the damage amplifier. The one up north is still there, but I think we're just gonna go get the hive at this point. It's gonna take no. Okay, the one up the north just got taken, but that means there's we've killed a player, and there's another player way up at the top of the map. So we should just be able to get the hive for free at this point. There's only going to be like one person, no, not even one person alive to defend it now, so. Drakal's already started on it, pretty uh, smart play from him. And uh, as I say, this should just be uh, should just be a freebie at this point. So we got a damage amplifier, uh, we got a hive, we got more kills than the enemy. We're going to look to take back some more of the harvesters now. I'm also going to go up here and get these uh, big, so these uh, these indicate um, an, an event that's happened in the game. They're called Stomper Hoods, so... A big grouping of stompers, which are the uh, slow, bumbling alien creatures are going to appear over here. Uh, so if we just get like a clear out, a big wave of them, that'll be a big chunk of experience for our team. Uh, it's likely that the enemy is going to be over here as well, because they'll also want this experience. So I might end up going uh, 1v2 here, 1v3. Uh, however, one of the enemies appears to be in the middle. We just saw a fight going on a central here, so I might be able to get this farm for free. We'll stop to get the spitter for a second. This should get us to level four. Never mind. We're very close though. One more tick of the harvesters. Actually, we only have one harvester right now, so. On the Although it may seem wrong right now to not be going to fight the enemy players, like constantly just going for PVP all the time doesn't actually help you win the game. Like that's, you know, in Alpha Hunters where it is very much a case of just like a battle royale, you know, fight to survive, kill the other players. There is a bit more strategy in this of like trying to main control, maintain control of objectives, uh, get a good amount of farm, and just generally stay ahead of the curve uh, when it's you versus the enemy. So we're level four here, enemy team's level three. 
So we're still maintaining that farm for now. Now, depending on which character you play, this may not be the most valid strategy for you. Uh, some characters definitely farm and, and do the PvE better than others. Summer is a good example of a, a character that uh, farms very effectively, in my opinion. Because she has this uh, magma spiral here. Puts a lot of fire on the ground. I did say that I wasn't going to take Magma Swarm at the start of the game, but uh, I, I didn't see any Stomper Herds in the events list, but maybe I was just a bit blind. Uh, because having Magma Swarm would definitely be good for clearing out these waves much faster than I'm doing right now. Right, there's one more med kit over here. I don't think we have time to get it though, we just gotta go straight to the hive. Kill a Spitter real quick, it's a good chunk of experience. I'll grab control of uh, this harvester here as well. We're going to be pretty late to this uh, hive here, so we might have to make a decision just to give it up. Oh, met yeah, I think we can 1v1 this hill. Oh, I overheated. That's pretty unfortunate, but I, I think I've still got him, to be honest. Yeah, we still got him. He's going to run away, but that damage over time should kill him, to be honest. I don't know, actually. Nope. Yeah, okay. Okay, my, my uh, Jonah picked a snipe up on him. Nice work, Jonah. All right, we got to get over to Spaceport now. Here's our goal. Uh, we've kind of left out Drakal on his own. Drakal is, he has proven himself to be a pretty good player. I should have probably healed up on the medical station there, but no worries. We really need to get over to the Hive to make sure they don't get it for free. Good to see that Shakiri's still over there, and we killed Earl as well. And the Jonah's also over here, so we're actually just uh, potentially going to get this for free. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the pressure on a Jonah here. She might finish off our Drakal, which would be very unfortunate. But if I can come in behind her, I know our hook's on cooldown, so. Get the stealth just to sneak in. We all die. I see the Ajona. Here's our goal. Alright, she's uh, got a hook on cooldown now, so it should just be a free kill. There we go. Uh, Jonah knowing that there's nothing she can do there, so just uh, taking the loss. Alright, let's go help the team, make sure we get the hot here. Oh, has showed up. Wait until he drops. Hit him with the fireball. It's important when you're playing Summer to try and always be over the 40% uh, threshold if you can. Uh, oh, the, over the 50%, sorry, to get that bonus damage. So just uh, chucking out a fireball there. Or even a couple of fireballs, just quickly getting yourself over 50% like this. And then you get those nice purple flames, which uh, deal the extra damage. Oh, we've got another uh, two Stomper Hoods down here as well. So we're getting a good, uh, good level advantage on the enemy here. Check it out. I'd kit for my team if they need it. It doesn't look like they do, so I'm just going to heal and take it to deny it to the enemy team. Alright, looks like my uh, my whole team are going over to clear out that Stomper Hood right now. So actually, I'm actually going to go all the way over to the Essence Eruption and uh, get involved in that event because there's a good chunk of Essence to be gained there as well. Right now, we have a big level advantage on the enemy team, so just going to try and maintain that. Uh, and we could just run away with this game. We already have two Hive Hearts. Um... And like I say, if we can keep on top of that experience, it could be three before they can really even do anything about it. Right, I'm aware that there are probably multiple enemies uh, going into the mid there, so. Gonna sneak behind them, capture back the harvester just to deny them any passive experience gain. And then if the essence eruption is still there, I'll go grab that as well. And I should be able to make it over to the, uh, to the hive in time. Cloak plants detected inside the container. I know playing the game this way isn't going to be everybody's cup of tea. A lot of you guys just like really love the PvP. Uh, in which case, obviously, Alpha Hunters is there for you guys. But if you like to maintain your farm and uh, be smart about how you optimize every uh, second of your time in the game, uh, then probably Heart of the Hives is for you. So definitely there for the for the MOBA fans for sure. So Essence Eruption is just like an event where like uh, you can go in and get a bunch of Essence, but you take a lot of damage while you're doing it. So. Get this heal. Oh, I got stuck there for a second. Alright, let's go get springs now. Uh, in fact, I don't think we have time to do springs, actually. We're gonna have to just uh, go over to the... Uh, go over to the hive right now. I 
should be able to gap central though. Because Soma is so mobile. Should be able to get uh, central in time. And still be there for the hive. Enemy team is looking to take back uh, the lead here though. Need to hustle to get that hive. I'm starting to get their stuff together. I don't even know if we're actually going to make it to this hive in time altogether, to be honest. Uh, team respawn pretty close actually. There is a medkit over there, but I I'm just gonna like hightail it to the hive right now. I think it's the most important thing. I'll try and come in from this side with my team because I might just get uh, caught by all four of them if I go in through the mid like that. I don't want to get caught out right now because if you die while the hive is up, it respawns you super far away. So uh, I think I actually have time to capture this as well. The hive shouldn't go down too fast. My team hopefully won't just like immediately jump in there. So. We can have the uh, four harvester control for when we go into this. Which is 120 experience every 10 seconds, so... Pretty quickly we'll be hitting level 6 if we play it smart. So let's double dash up here. Get that high ground. Look for some fireballs here. My bad. I, I went in a bit too deep there. I was just looking for the Ajona. I traded one for one at least, but still not ideal. We, we shouldn't be trading one for one when we have a level advantage on them. It looks like we might be losing this. I'm going to respawn up here. Nah, it looks like they've got it though, but we can we can quickly get this uh, Stomper Herd farm at least. So there's no point going down to the Hive at this point. They've just got that one for free. Not going to be able to stop them. By the time we even get over there, it'll be gone. So we'll just uh, respawn, get the Stomper Herd farm, keep the level advantage, and hopefully we'll win the next Hive. It's okay. We, we can give up like one heart. That's like no biggie. They're still like in a really pressured spot where if they lose even like one Hive now, they uh, we win the game. So... Let's try and get rid of all these stompers real quick before the uh, enemy team show up and try and claim them for themselves. Alright, enemy team's probably really coming out this way like any moment now, so... We have all of the harvesters. There's not really anything else to play for. There's that enemy team that we talked about right on time. On the gas. Just going to keep disengaging. Don't really fancy a uh, 1v4 right now. I don't think it's going to go too well for me. There should be... There's always like an abundance of medkits here. If we press control just to detect... There we go. Two over there. So I can use one of these and still go back up to full. Two minutes on the hive. So again, we're just going to spend all of our time just trying to make sure we're ahead in experience. If there was an event to play for, obviously we'd go for it, but there's no real events up right now. There's no stomper herds, there's nothing, so just got to group up with my team. Maybe we can catch uh, an enemy out of position and gank them as four, so... Looks like some fights are breaking out over here. Oh my god, so much damage. I think I'm dead here, actually. Let's see if we can get the medkit off. Go back and help Drakal. Shouldn't use the fireball there. Should be dead. Okay. Gotta burn the medkit. We can go through the med kits. We know there's even more over here, so... Not the cleanest fight there. I kind of uh, messed up my chase of uh, Mendoza. Uh, we are playing against some pretty skilled opponents here. I've seen all of these players before in uh, many games during the alpha playtest, so... Got a pretty, uh, pretty high elo lobby. Right, at this point we want to look to uh, see what we're doing in terms of uh, harvester control. So we still have the majority control here. Um, 
if I can, I'm going to try and take back research, but really got to be careful of getting picked out. I'm just going to stay with my team. We, we have majority control. We have three. They only have two. We have a little level advantage. There's not really a reason to take too many risks right now. Maybe this guy comes in and gets hooked. This is a really bad spot for us. This is Jonah's kind of out on her own, though. I'm gonna pop a med kit just to go to full. Alright, never mind, never mind. Bad play, bad play. We have so much damage coming in like that. Get another med kit up we can and go for Earl. We really just need to find somebody here. They've all got, like, such long sideline characters, so... Really could do with a hook here. No, 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 we don't get the hook. Running out of med kits. Let's see if we can uh, get Mendoza here or something. Keep going for the chase. Get the med kit. No, okay. Getting denied the med kit by my own team. Feels bad. I gotta, I gotta keep the pressure on though. We have to. If we just keep letting them run away, like we're not gonna achieve too much. I'm gonna take back the harvester just to make sure we get passive experience gain. Never mind. Bad play. We really gotta like convert some kills here or something. Like we need to, we need to find a pick. Okay, L's, L's going for it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Use the uh, knockback. Okay, we could get some kills here. Alright, that's one. Oh, she's like one hit. Okay, we got it. Get this just for the health. So we can take more than one grenade. We've killed like almost all of that team now, so. Where'd he go? Okay, okay. Now we win. We just cap it and we win. I think everybody's dead on the enemy team, so. GG's. Man, that was a messy fight at the end there. We really needed to like cast somebody out of position, like get a good hook and pull them in. I, I mean, the, the Drakkar was doing good. It's like they were a like highly skilled team, so. Super mobile. But there you go. There's a look at like a pretty uh, intense. I'm glad we got like a really good master. This is my first game of the day and like just, you know, a quick one minute queue, like a very good back and forth, high skill players in both teams. Um, yeah, you love to see it, guys. You love to see it. So there you go. Hopefully, although it's a little bit rushed, a little bit panicked at some point there, you get an idea of like what my general thought process is and like what I'm thinking of when we go into a game of Heart of the Hives. Uh, as you can see there, uh, there is a bug. So I have like all of my team's essence combined. So although it looks like I'm like just way, way ahead, uh, 25,000 is not realistic. Maybe it's more like, I don't know, 8,000 to 10,000. But yeah, we definitely kept the farm going there. Kept our team uh, above the enemy level. You can see we're level 8 and they were level 6 at the end of the game. So having a two-level advantage, everybody on our team had 12% extra damage and 6% extra health. Which uh, does make a difference. It really does make a difference in those longer drawn-out fights. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go Let's ahead go and click that... If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe for more Crucible content, more baggins, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.